Cockleback is the second most common cancer to cause death in Australian women. That's right, 50 females are diagnosed with breast cancer daily and a shocking eight women die from the disease every day. But with the five-year survival rate at 91%, getting your breasts checked early can literally save your life. Whether it's fear or discomfort, breast checks are just one of those things many of us put off getting done. It's estimated over 18,000 women and 148 men will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. Over 3,000 people are expected to die from the disease in 2018, so getting tested can be the difference between life and death. What are we doing? What are you doing now? I'm actually going to have a mammogram right now. You oh, know why? No way. Because I haven't had one for 13 years. Gee whiz. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Thank you. All right. I've come to St Vincent's Clinic today to have a mammogram, but they have a whole new way of doing it, so I'm going to check it out with the professor. So tell me about the technology, Professor, because last time I had a mammogram, you know, they kind of squish you like into a pancake and it's not the most pleasant experience. Yeah, the standard mammogram uses 2D technology, which is rather old fashioned. Um, it does squeeze the breast and it, we actually look at the images in a two dimensional format. Mm -hmm. There is newer technology which looks at the um, breast in a three dimensional format called a 3D mammogram. Okay. And then finally, we're about to introduce new technology um, called the abbreviated MRI, which doesn't actually put the patient through a traditional mammogram where the breast gets sandwiched, but the patient actually goes through a donut um, and have a seven minute procedure and has the breast image using uh, an MRI. Is an MRI test more conclusive? It is currently the best test around. Um, and we certainly at this point in time would recommend it in combination with biannual mammograms, which is the traditional way of approaching this. So why is it important, Professor, to, to get those checks done and to detect breast cancer early? The best time for us to cure breast cancer is when it's detected early and small before it's spread to other parts of the body. So the sooner we detect breast cancer, the better the patient has a chance of beating this disease. I've been avoiding this test for long enough. It's time to get changed. Are you all ready? Yes, Excellent. I think so. Have I got it on the right way? You do? I always thought they would do up at the back. Oh no, that doesn't, that doesn't have a skin. <laughs> So Dr Borella, you're a radiologist yes. here, so run me through what's going to happen. Okay, so as you can see the machine is just here inside, it looks like a donut. So we're going to have you um, lying on your tummy for the scan, uh -huh. so Joe will get you positioned so that you're nice and comfortable, you'll have some earphones on, you can listen to some nice music while we do your scan. Wow! Um, and then you'll have your breasts just hanging down in special holders but there's no compression like for a mammogram. Right. Just keep breathing. Okay, so you're just a few short scans to start. Are you okay in there? Yeah. Okay, last scan now, just one minute to go. I keep on breathing. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're all done, you did really well. It was so easy. Excellent, I'm all right. glad. I'm gonna go and get the results now. Don't put it off, do it. So Sonia, here are your MRI images. So you can see on the picture here on the left that you have dense breast tissue, um, as is the case for a lot of Australian women. But on the picture on the right here, you can see that we're able to see right through all that dense breast tissue and know that it all looks completely normal. So nothing to nothing worry about? Nothing to worry about at all. All looks great. Fantastic. So I'm good for another two years? You're good for another two years. Yes. Thanks, Doc. Cheers. That was easy. <laughs> It does seem so much better than the other way. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible new technology and it's really, I mean, they can see so much more than they can with the 2D or the 3D. Yeah. And I think even cost-wise, the gap is, you know, is, is similar. So yeah. the, the pricing isn't that bad. But for women who have had a history of breast cancer, breast cancer in the family, it's a, it's a really good option, it definitely. Uh, to, no, to donate to the National Breast Cancer Foundation or to host your own pink ribbon breakfast, head to nbcf.org.au.